Bloop bloop everyone, welcome back to end zone a world apart. We are planting some bananas because we can. And that's gonna be a maze balls. We don't really need food at the moment, which is a great place to be in. But now we can get some bananas, and bananas are great. They're a good um, potassium delivery system for us, which is, which is nice. 40 people. We still have 40 laborers. That's pretty great. Let's employ some of them. What are our pubs doing? Let me let me look at those real quick. Oh yeah, and we are at the second expedition of the Distant Places DLC. Again, I got the DLC from the developer, so... Um, bias might be uh, existent. You know what? Let's get more coffee, I think. Make some productive workers. We are also electrifying our settlement, finally, which is always a nice place to be in. The thing is, can we store enough energy? So, the grid has a surplus of one solar farm at the moment. If these things are built quickly, we can get two more solar farms into the grid, which will be great. But that's the whole grid surplus. We are producing 18k and we're using 12k. It's a tight situation. What do you want this time? I don't want to do the beer thing again, but fine. God damn it. So every pub should be on beer now. Beer. 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 Uh, no, beer please. And you were on beer anyway, right? Yes, so everyone beer. Hopefully we can do this this time. And also we need to store a little bit more plastic. Mm, to get that, I think we're gonna go away from cloth for a bit. I'm not gonna go away from, from sheets. But please give me a little bit more, just a little smidge before this runs out. 1500 beer, that's a lot. It's producing beer 150 times. I hope that, that time doesn't run out on both of those. We're also producing our our beacon. Yeah, we've way overshot this, but uh, we don't have the resources yet. We still need to research it. We have the material factory, though. Also the factory unit, which improves the building of uh, buildings around it and makes them more efficient but only by 10% or something and I don't think this thing is worth it in my opinion there's also the greenhouse the aqua farm the upgraded water tower which all comes very late the comfortable house is amazing because it makes itself uh, self-sufficient in terms of power that will save us tremendous amounts of energy durable durable buildings is nice. The pumping station is really good. That will give us so many laborers. We will have no idea what to do with them. Comfortable shelter. Yeah, also really nice. Large irrigation. That makes sense. That is pretty good. Don't know how much it will be, but fine. We don't have any points right now. God damn it. So I need a materials factory. That's important. Um, resources. Material factory. We'll probably need two. Mm, I don't want to build it close here, if if we can avoid that. But this is not on the grid. You know what, let's build it here. Uh, let me first build a warehouse. It does fit, that is that is good. So I just wanted to make sure that we can build warehouses here. And let's just build this in between the wind farms. I want definitely, I definitely want to, at the very least. And again, these things should not suffer under that. It's, just, it's fine. It's just other wind turbines that make them suffer. And they give us good electricity, actually. But this is, this is where you get the electricity. Look at that. 14k surplus. That's what we want. So we have double what we need in production or during the day. Now the only problem might be that the storage is not enough for the night. 
because we are still draining 14k in in the night again yeah i think we need to store we need to we need to have one or two batteries one or two more because look at that drainage oof and it's only 10k because these things still work in the night uh, wind is an endless resource for some reason i mean that's great 60 more come on Work harder on this. I need to put all of them into into plastics for a second here. This thing is not getting decontaminated, which makes sense. We don't have that many buildings. Uh, you guys. Go plastics. Go plastics. Just for a second, I've got to put them back again. We have enough water, and this will hopefully happen. 0.8 seasons. It should. We're not really actively using much plastic. We do use some for our radiation protection, but not that much. Why is there scarves? Why is there someone who's making scarves? That shouldn't be. Who's making scarves? Perfect, we got a new seed. Ah, we got Plague Salsify. I think that was an interesting one. Who's making scarves? Does someone see scarves here? I don't, and all the tailors should be in this direction. They should also be powered. Yes, pretty good. So apparently we have enough batteries and stuff in production for the whole day, which is great. We probably want some more... Um, Oh, look at that. These are permanently full. That's great. And now we have so much scrap. Loving it. Um, yeah, I don't know how to do this. Where are you guys? You're here. Can I put you in here? Just, just not fitting. It's so horrendous sometimes. I mean, I haven't built really well. I haven't done much here. Okay, yeah, let's get this all decontaminated, please. Good, then you're useful. We have the next expedition, that's great. I haven't I haven't put much thought in where I put anything. Not that much, at least. I tried in the beginning, but now I'm just building. Because it's more important to have more right now instead of, you know, placing it perfectly. Uh, yeah, let's do the expedition then. And the materials factory will be really good because we will hey, make good, good stuff ha, that we need. always said that radio equipment would be just my kind of thing. Now I can hear you, even though I'm sitting in my armchair. Great! Now we can finally set off on the quest for the spare parts. Yeah, at, as long as you're sitting in your armchair, buddy. And we do all the work. Landing so, spot? What's it like? Everything's falling apart, I guess. Probably no human beings been there for years. Radio through whatever you see to me, okay? Then I'll mm -hmm. try to picture it and guide you in the right direction. <laughs> wow. The radiation is still very high, huh? Everything was in good shape for a long time, and you could live well there. But then the acid rain came, and suddenly everything changed. Yeah, you be know, careful. This place means a lot to me. I was there as a child with Ma and Pa. I know it like the back of my hand. I see it all right in front of me. I you know, know exactly where you have to head to. He is such a crazy guy and he is so into his mother that I think he has stuffed her and put her in, in his room or something, you know? After she died. And Pa is probably, I don't know, outside holding up uh, a roof or something. Stuffed, of course. I don't know. It, it, it would just fit the, the theme. In a way. Must be a comfy chair, yeah, indeed. There are a whole bunch of ruins here, boss. Where should we start? Well, everywhere. Oh, I can choose cardinal directions. Well, that's great. Uh, let's go north first. Looks like there's an old fuel station at the end of this road. Let's ask Lem about it. That thing. Dismantling, installing, converting, and tinkering with 
something. Oh, this looks so cool. Almost as good as I am. That is good. It's dead certain. You shouldn't say dead certain, please. Not in this uh, environment. Um, there's a churchyard. Let's go to the sure thing. An old church post. Should we take a closer look? Yes. Here's a pretty sizable garden. There are some graves and a few peculiar bushes. The old churchyard. That's where Pa simply threw away whatever he didn't need anymore. And is the truck still there? That dilapidated old thing? Take a look at it. There it is. There must be an oil pump inside. We need it. In the truck? Oh, that is not that great. Nope, didn't work. We can't get the pump out. Uh, yes, apparently, I need that one. So that cost me one more, which is fine. Closer and, closer to the and we got more knowledge, which is also amazing. Gravestone crosses. Uh, there are several names here. Here, uh, several names. Here's Bill. The old, uh, the other name is difficult to read. Wait a second. It says Anna. Maybe that's his ma and pa. Okay. I would guess it is. Um, never seen anything like this before. Could it be due to the strong radiation? We got a Fusalis fruit. That's cool. Night. Uh, neat. Nice. Neat and nice. Yeah, night. It's pretty easy once you find the right spot with through boss, so we broke everything apart. This is a very disturbing theory indeed. And you know why I have that theory? Because of one short story we read in uh, in English. In the in the um in school. When I was making my abitur. Um, and that, that short story was called The Landlady. Go and read it. Go and read it and you know why. <laughs> and you know why I'm saying such things. The Landlady. Just just go and look at, look at it. Here's an old engine boss. Should we see what parts we could get uh, some use out of? Yes, please. Didn't work. Can do it again though, which is good. It's nice that we can just do it again, which is which is fine with me. I just don't want to fail this. Go south. There's a police station in this direction, boss. Let's contact Lamb and ask if he knows anything about it. Not the refinery or factory thing here. It's a factory. Why not there? Police station. We used to use it as a storeroom for potatoes and grains. It's locked up, you say? Where's the police station? Good thing. That is another factory ground. Where's a police station? Normally, it's all on the maps if they if they say it, uh, about uh, if, they, if they talk about something. So maybe this is the police station. That is a very strange police station. It is okay. Interesting. Ah, there. It, there's something that could look like police. Um, there's a collapsed wall. Just go to the front door, buddy. Oh, sorry. The front door. Yeah, I almost forgot about it. My best friend, Anna, once got her hand caught in it. It's probably his mother. Ordinarily such a fearless girl, but that time she screamed so loud. What a commotion that was. Man, I sure miss her. Or maybe it was the woman he loved. I remember well the hey, Ariamis. Hey Ariamis, how are you doing? And by the way, you have a new badge. <laughs> Hope you like that. Oh yes, the potato crates. Back when I was little, I could stand up inside them. When they were empty, they were great for playing hide and seek. What we fun. have not enough action points with us. That's bad. Crates are empty, boss, but the wood is good in, in good condition. Uh, I don't want wood. As a child, Grinding mill. I hope I can come back here. Right. That's what I need. You have to detach it. 
Hey Chief, we were able to detach the grinder, but it's completely rusted and useless. On the other hand, we did find some metal parts that look useful. We definitely have to keep on looking somewhere else. The basement was always locked. I was never the workbench, inside. though. The grown-ups were often there at night. I wonder what they were up to there. With your tools, you shouldn't have any problems prying the hatch open. Ariamis, you were always an artist. I'm just... Uh, I, I just got the possibility to... Make it known <laughs> on Twitch now. That's all. And you're very welcome. I'm glad that you like it. Uh, Pupkeeper badge. We're in and now we know what uh, they were doing down here. Shelves full of bottles and it's definitely not water. Mm, the police, huh? Looks like they turned the potatoes into alcohol. Uncle Bill's workbench. This is concerning though. So intensely when he was concentrating. His whole face was full of wrinkles. Almost like a leather couch. Yes, very good. That must be the grinder. It rotates cleanly, you say? Perfect. Precisely what we've been looking for. Good thing Uncle Bill always stashed spare parts away. Okay. Problem is we won't have enough for anything else. Um, I think we just go back and I, I come back with more. Just loot and return for the moment. I hope I can do this. And can do this again. Yes, we can. Okay, good. Well, we have to come back later. How about the expedition thing? Yeah, I think we should go to 300 for a moment and we'll just get rid of this uh, in a while because we want to do this as well. This is marked for salvaging. Let's go to the harvester real quick. Just do a little quick haul there. We don't need much. I don't don't think we need anything here. Not even action points, I think. But let's get to. It's equipped with a small quantity of rations, even though capacity for additional expedition rations exists. Fine, give me a little bit more. We don't need more. It's just a combine harvester. I think it's just there to get some resources from. And we don't even need these resources anymore, which is great. Someone is in poor health. Why? We have enough protective gear. More than we, even, we could ever use at the moment. And we do have iodine pills. Oh, great. Yes, they do, if they have the chance. So now I need a defense thing around here-ish. I really don't want to pay tribute. This is full though, so refuse. Let's hope they don't... Oh god, get through here. All the people, all the people. We have electricity, we could try the demoralizing things, the Siren Tower soonish. At least coming from this side. But they're getting in here, which should be fine with us. They, they will destroy a few things. We don't have any barricades, unfortunately. Yep. We couldn't even dispense all the ammunition. But we are killing them, nonetheless. Eat Good. F off. They killed a few militia. They damaged a lot of buildings. We lost 400 ammunition for some reason. It didn't look like we would really shoot them. Um, we have a lot of repair costs. It's fine, though. The looted resources are worse. And for some reason, they are still looted, I think. So dumb. Go away. Yeah, and now we got nonsense that we don't need because we are full. Oh, that was the beer. Good. <laughs> That's nice. At least this time they will be happy with me and not pissed again. The fools. Um, field testing. What do we need? Thank you. No, not in the defense. Test for the economy, I guess. Whatever that means. Okay, tools produced, radiation suits, medicine. That should be fine. 
some of those will finish. And we can go now and take one of the pubs. You will be beer. You'll be liquor again. Coffee. Coffee. Let's leave it on a little bit more beer. That's fine. Good. Doing well. Don't they have to leave to actually loot anything? I don't know. It doesn't say, you know. It doesn't say that's loot. I They, they you know, were trying to get and didn't get it. It didn't say that, you know. So, I have actually no idea. And I haven't heard anyone, you know, telling me that, that they don't get it. I haven't had the chance to check if they did. And they didn't take enough of one resource so we could see it. Um, but yeah, oh, the bunnies, aren't they cute? We still don't have enough coal, which is a big problem, and I don't want to burn more wood for it. Although we could. There's actually no reason why we shouldn't do it. And again, us burning coal in three buildings or two doesn't make any difference at all to the world, you know? Yes, coal is not great. It's really, really bad, and it caused a lot of problems for us today. But in this scenario, with I don't know, the population um, of the world here is probably rather minuscule because of the situation. Um, it shouldn't make much of a difference if there are some people burning coal. Even if everyone in the world would be burning coal every single day here, uh, forever. Oh god, I'm I'm an idiot. Stop this. Stop it. It's so small, the button. Uh, it wouldn't make much of a difference, I would say. The planet can't handle that. It has much, yeah, more difficult problems, which is the decontamination. Um, we have a problem now. I mean, at least we can see how the sand mine works. Just literally pulling sand off the ground. Don't know why it doesn't have to move. Probably because of the water that suggests that the sand moves around, which doesn't make any sense. But okay. It's not a river. Let's get all of these people in there. We do have a lot of farmers, but let's get some more. Okay, of course, another sandstorm. Awesome. Our scrap collectors are doing fine, just because we get so much scrap now that... Uh, yeah, they're not getting rid of their stuff. Still thinking maybe we should gather more scrap. We're already at 2.5k, even though it's a limit of 2k. But let's go up to 3. Just because we do need scrap all the freaking time and having more of it is just good. Getting all this. I don't need these, don't need this, don't need this. Yes, get some sulfur. I don't care about sulfur. And you're already fine with it, so... Should we get something? Yeah, it's fine. That Just take all of this. Thank you for the tools. F off now. Thank you. Oh, we need all of those produced. Well, that sucks, actually. Because we're not producing medicine again. Uh, because the building is full. Can't hold that much medicine. And for some reason, we're not putting that in the warehouse. Hmm. Well, that sucks. Medicine production is actually a problem for us. Um, we could build another that produces medicine. Don't we have another? No, we have one for soap. And we're not producing enough soap. Actually, we should have two for soap. I mean, we could make another one here. Let's make two. We definitely have enough space for doctors. No, for now you're making medicine, but later you will make... Um, you will make us soap. Our water is in trouble right now, and we need to be careful because our water situation could swing hard if we are not 
uh, if we are not careful. Ah, oh, right. There was one little stupid tile that messed all of this up. Oh, that sucks. Um, how about here? And we need a jetty here as well. I guess one should be enough for now. Delicious milk soap, yeah. It's it's literally milk for the fat, I think. Because there is no animal fat or something in this game as a resource. That's why they, th uh, they, they took milk. We need cement mining and then we need the concrete factory. We also have two material factories by now somewhere. Where did I put those? Oh, back here in the... Yes, in this area where it will be powered. For sure. We also need more... E oh, God. A lot of refiners now. And more charcoal burners. To stay on top of the coal situation. So now we are producing a lot of glass out of the sand and coal. And we need to strengthen metal out of coal and metal. So that means we need even more coal, which is... Not the most tastiest of things. Getting more coal is not that easy. We can get another mine here and let's let's do that. We will need some concrete though. Okay, so this should be fine. There you go. And we still have enough people, so that should be fine as well. More coal. Get on it. Get on it, my mining friends. Barter deal has been closed. That's good. That means another one will come soon. We need to go back into the expedition as quickly as possible. But unfortunately, this part is over already. Oh, this is sad. But we will see the next half of the second part. In the next part. Yeah, okay, please produce this right now. Thank you. Um, okay, balloon station is done. Let's go back to him. Configure. Get rid of all the old geezers. We need a cook still. We need a mortician still. And we need a refiner. Okay, there we are. Perfect. Still get the protective clothing, please. Because I am worried about you guys. And this time we take 20. It's the most we have taken so far, but we will finish this. This time. Okay. I mean, we're finally producing some high-end resources. Just the concrete is missing. And we're working on that right now with research. So we should be in a good position next episode. I hope you're there with me then. And uh, I hope you like. So leave me a like. Sub. If you haven't subbed my YouTube yet, it really, really does help. And follow me on Twitter and on Twitch and come to Discord. I see you there. Bloop, bloop.